In this video, I'm going to go over um, one way you can process forms with PHP. Um, this method uses two pages. Um, one would be an HTML form and the other is the page to process it. Um, in another video, I will be showing how to process it all in one page. And I think that the single page format is um, the most desirable. However, this kind of separates out and you can get the concepts a little bit more. All right, so let's say we had a form, um, just a plain old HTML page with a form, and it would have a first name and last name, um, text entry box, and a submit button. Now, if we look at the basic HTML for this, we have um, you know, our normal form tags, and there are a few things you need to set up in order for this to work well with PHP. The first thing would be the action. So the action is the page that you want to process the form. So we need to know what our page would be called. And that's how when I hit the submit button, it will then go to this page and process. The second thing you need to set up is the method. And you have two choices for that, either post or get. Post is used to send information behind the scenes, whereas get sends the information in the URL. Now, for a lot of things, you don't want to use get because, let's say, a password or sensitive information, you don't want to be displayed in the um, URL. So in most cases, you'll be using post. The other thing that you need to be aware of is the name of the input fields is how we will refer to the data entered. So we have our input fields of type text because we'll be entering text, but the name we'll be referring, if we're talking about this first name, I'm calling it F name. And this last name box is L name. So if I want the value from the first name box, I would refer to L F name in this example. So let's say we've got our form and submit will trigger the action. So if I entered things in, submit triggers the action and it navigates to the page listed in the forms action tag. And in this case, it was a page called process form. Inside a process form, it's pretty basic here. I have um, a variable that's going to hold the value and I have request pulling the information from the field called F name. Just a side note on this, sometimes you may see form processing where this will say post instead of request. Request will actually uh, pull the information from either a post or a get, um, so it kind of covers both. It's, it's more general, but either one would be fine. And once again, what you have here needs to match the name of the field and the form. So with this, we just say dollar sign underscore request, square brackets, in single quotes, we have the name of the field. So in this case, whatever I entered in the first name, would be echoed here, hello first name. So it was John, it would say hello John. So let's go ahead and build that form and see it in action. So I am going to first make a location for me to build this in. Um, since I will be using XAMPP and have a, an Apache server um, local, I need to store my files in htdocs. So I'm going to the C drive, I have XAMPP, I'm going to htdocs, and then inside there, just to keep it away from the other things, I made a www folder, and I can go ahead and make a folder inside of that. So I'm going to make one, and I will call it form demo. Okay? And so I'll be creating my files inside of that. Now, while I'm at it, why don't I go ahead and start the server? So I'm going to go to the control panel and under Apache, I want to start my server and I'll minimize that. And I'm going to go ahead and go to brackets. That's going to be my editor. All right. So what I would recommend instead of going to file open for your files, I would say open the folder you're working in and it works much better as far as file management because for this it's going to be very important that you know where your files are. So I'm going to go file, open folder, and I'm going to find that folder I just made. Now it's in the htdocs inside of www 
And so I made that form demo folder. I'm going to go ahead and say select folder. Okay, so if you recall that simple site essentially had a form page and a processing page. So I'm going to go ahead and say file new and um, I'm going to make this my form page. Now since it doesn't have actually any PHP in it, I can have an HTM um, extension for this one. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and save it right away. I'm going to go save as, and I think I'll just call this um, simple form. Simpleform.htm. Okay. Now I'd like some um, HTML in here, and instead of typing it all, I like to use um, a site called htmlshell.com. And what's nice is um, it has the template for you that you can simply um, copy and paste in, and then you don't have to do as much typing. Okay, so now I'm here. Let's go ahead and make a simple form. So um, I can change my title if I'd like. Okay, and in the body, I'm going to go ahead and make a, um, a form tag. And if you recall, there's two things that are important. We need an action and a method. And the action needs to be the page that will process. Now in this example, I am going to just call it simple display. That would be fine. Or I could call it process or whatever that page is going to be called. And I need the extension .php. Then I need the method. And I'm going to use post. Okay, so this form is going to be basic. Um, I'm not going to make it fancy or look anything special. It'll just be pretty straightforward. And so I'll have it so that you could collect the first name. And it will have an input of type text. And once again, the name is important because that's how we will access it. And I'll call it F name. And what I'll do is go ahead and just do a line break. And to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Make that L name. Then for a form, I need a submit button in order for it to trigger the action. And the type is submit, and the value is whatever I'd like it to say. So I could have it say submit, or I could say enter, or whatever I'd like, but I'll just leave it at submit. And there's my form. So it's pretty basic. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And um, since it's just HTML, I should be able to just do live preview, but I'm going to go ahead and set up my local host while I'm here. Um, since we have it, we'll need that for the PHP portion. So I'm going to go to File, Project Settings, and I need to say where my server is going to be. And it's in localhost. I had a folder called www. Um, localhost is essentially the htdocs folder I created got www and what did I call it? I think it form demo, right? Okay, so I've got that as my path. So when I preview it, it'll go into there and work out of that as if it's the live server. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and preview it. And there's my form. Nothing fancy. Um, it's not actually going anywhere yet. So if I click it says it's not found because simple display.php hasn't been created yet. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and minimize that. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our simple display. Now, since this is um, also a web page, I'll need HTML in that as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and say um, new. Why don't I save it right away? But this time I need to make sure that it has a PHP extension since it will have things to process. 
I'm going to save and I'm going to go to that um, HTML shell again and copy and paste in my HTML because why not? And so what I want to do is collect the information from the form and display it here. Now, since I'm working in PHP in this one, I need the opening and closing PHP tags. So the opening tag is the less than question mark PHP. I'm just going to go like this. And the closing is question mark greater than. So all of my PHP code needs to go in between these tags for it to process. All right, so let's get the first name one working first, and then I can obviously add in the last name. So let's set a variable. I'm going to say, um, Let's just call it first name equals, and once again, I've got the dollar sign underscore request, square bracket, quote, and the name of that field. I believe I used F name. So what that's going to do is take the value of what's in that field, put it into first name, and then I can do what I want with it. Let's just do a simple echo. An echo will print to the screen. Let's do a double quote so I can have it interpret easily. Hello, first name. If I was using single quotes, um, it would actually write dollar sign first name out to the screen instead of what the value is. So I'll go ahead and use this. So I'm going to save this. And let's go to the form and do the live preview. And here's my simple form. And let's say my first name, let's go Susan. There it is, hello Susan. And if I look at the page source, notice you don't see any PHP. You just see the HTML that was returned. All right, so since that's working, and I'll just push this over here, let's get the last name working as well. And um, let's just do the same thing here. L name, and I could go ahead and go first name, last name. Save that. Can go back here and refresh this. Hello, Ted Jones. Okay. Now I do want to point something out. Let's say I am on this page and I save it and I go right to live preview. It's going to have a problem because it doesn't know what request F name or L name is. Okay. So notice it's giving me errors. It doesn't know what F name and L name are because it needs that form to run first and then to process it. So let's add in one more thing to this. Um, right now we do have a little problem where if we have, uh, let's say our form and I just hit submit, it's not, um, uh, checking to see if somebody entered anything or not. And it just simply says hello, which in this case, I guess it's okay, but let's see if there's a value in each and give the user some sort of feedback if they forgot to enter something. So what we can do is add, um, if statements around our variables to set up. Let's do the first name one first. And what it's going to do is check to see if the F name field is not empty. And if it is, it'll fill it. If not, it'll give an error. So let me go ahead and type that. So here I have if not empty request F name. So if F name is not empty, when you see the exclamation point, it means not. So if it has something in there, we're going to go ahead and set what's in F name into the variable first name. Otherwise, it's going to set first name to an empty string just so it has something and it won't error there. And it'll say you forgot to enter your first name. Okay, so let's try that. I'm going to hit save and go to the server. And let's try that out. Um, let's just say sit, submit. Now it says you forgot to enter your first name. Notice hello comes up right away. So what we can do is add um, 
a little bit of formatting, like I could put a line break here, for instance, or a paragraph tag, um, so that then it will um, push that down. Now that's working, so let's go ahead and have this work for the um, last name as well. So I'm gonna put that in and skip ahead in the video when it's there. Okay, so I added the last name in and first name in. So if you notice here, it's checking first name, last name. If I'd like to add some comments, I can check for first name and last name and load that in. Let me save and um, live preview. Now, since I went right to this page and didn't go to the, the form, it's immediately saying you forgot to enter your first name, you forgot to enter your last name. So it does get rid of the PHP error, but it's still not perfect. Let's go back to the form and um, let me go to the simple form and live preview that. And first name, um, Leo the Lion. Hello, Leo Lion. And if I go here and get rid of just the last name, it says I forgot to let enter the last name, but it still adds something. If this is bothering you and you don't want anything to show unless there's something, we could put an if statement in there just uh, to check and see if they're empty. So I could say if um, last name doesn't equal this and First name is not equal to empty. So I'm basically checking to make sure they're not empty strings. If last name isn't empty and first name isn't empty, it will give me a response. So let's try that out. Okay, they're empty. Notice it's not saying hello. And now it is. So that's one way you can do it. Um, if that's bothering you, you can do that. This is really just a start of how to do processing. Um, the next step that I would do is to um, combine this onto one page and it makes it a lot easier to um, allow for um, checking for empty fields and allowing people to make changes to that.